It continues to be an eyesore for wildlife conservationists. The increasing incidence of poaching that continue to rob the country of its immense wealth in wildlife. And this is for another one. So these are el two, three elephants dead. Let's call it. Three elephants dead. The Kenya Wildlife Service Director William Kiprono was leading a team of wildlife officers to inspect yet another scene of crime within the Savo National Park, where a suspected poacher was gunned down after being found in possession of six tusks and three AK-47 rifles. But he was not alone. Four of his accomplices managed to get away. This hole within the park believed to be the hideout used by the poachers to hide the tusks after killing the elephants. The suspected poachers living behind their paraphernalia. We have a lot of gangs within here who are disguised as others. Barely a month ago, a family of 11 elephants was killed in this very park. The suspects are yet to be arrested. The Wildlife Service now calling for concerted efforts to end the poaching menace. This is a war that is not going to be won by KWS alone. This is a Kenyan war. These are people who are ready to disseminate all our resources, wildlife resources. And you are aware this is an heritage that uh, we cannot negotiate about. The moment we lose our wildlife, then Reverting back to where we were would be a real problem. Savo East National Park alone covers a ground of approximately 17,747 square kilometers, but only has 300 rangers guarding it. This definitely leaving a large portion of the park exposed. It's about all of us. It's about a generation to come. It's about the current generation. Sometimes we even wonder if we don't synergize our activities, then we might lose. Esther Kahumbi, Citizen, live at 1.